<laughs> Alright, so in this tutorial, we're gonna create a Christmas shopping list that you can share with your friends. Um, so basically how it works is you add a link here and then you submit it. So let's try it out. We're gonna, we're gonna add some tools. So you add the link, put it here, you press submit. It should pull up some information for you. So you see we have the product title. So we have the title of what it is. We have the price, so 69. We have some specs, which this is wrong. So we could put in our own specs. Um, we could put anything, a tool. We have the features description. Then we get to choose our image. And then we could save to the shopping list. So we go down here, we could see it here. So initially it was for Amazon, but Amazon is being a <sighs> pest. So they blocked me because they don't like people scraping stuff. So we would, I would show you how to build it. The same pr the, the principle applies. So it, it should be able to work for any sign. Oh, finally, um, get to send via email. So you can see the templates here and you add your message. Uh, so we enter in our email address, sample at gmail.com and we leave in this. So this personal message will go here and then we just have to press send. You can barely see it, but it's below here. And it should tell me the message has been sent. So you see it here. And then we can look for the message here. We access the message in mail trap and we can see to and from sample email this is our message if we wanted we could change the message so let's change the message please buy this for me and then we'll say sample to at email.com so we could try that and we send it out great and we see it show up here right so please just buy this for me and it says vv on amazon i mean we could change that to whatever because we're using ebay now but again it could be any site once you adjust the parameters to suit all right so this is what i'm going to show you how to build so let's get started all right so we have our basic file we call it wishes and we tested it to make sure it can display so we are now going to get started so the first thing we need is our little template so we're going to do that one time and then we're going to have create a basic functions file. Um, so we also going to do that. So we're going to create a file. We're going to call it functions. This is going to keep all our functions. Um, great. So let's see what comes next. The first thing in our functions file is going to get get our connections. So that's the first thing. So we're just going to copy that in. You know we always need that, and we're going to include our functions file up here. Include functions .php. Great. All right. We're going to give it a name. Wishlist. If I had it as shopping list, wishlist. We're just going to name it wishlist. Because that sounds better. Give it a heading add items to your wish list so the first form is going to be really simple um, all of them I think is going to be post and what we just want to do type text um, put a button here submit this is actually the name of this is going to be so whatever type is submit the name is uh, save or oh, get data. <laughs> That's a horrible name. Um, pass link. I'm probably going to change that. Anyway, enter the URL. All right, so let's see how that looks. We are good to go. Could leave no we're not gonna leave it like that we could though yeah we could leave it like that we could add another button further down when we um when we add in more elements to the form 
So that's actually first step because what we're going to do now is we're going to pass the URL. So let's get into that now. So we're going to tell functions file and we're going to begin passing the URL. Um, but in order to test this, we're going to create another file. We're going to call it test. We're actually going to test the URL. So we're just going to take a URL here and we're going to place it here. So we're going to make sure we um, get any correct information, right? So we have the URL and we want, what we want is to actually start passing the information. So let's see how we do this. I'm actually looking at it now. All right, so what we're going to do is you're going to use file get contents, right? So this is going to get information from the URL. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Then we see HTML DOM. So you could, you could Google this DOM document, but it allows us to um, pass HTML. It's not perfect and it doesn't work in every situation. All right, anyway, so I believe the at sign um, disables error messages that would normally show up warnings no, it disables warning I think that's what the at sign does if you notice our at sign there it disables warning um, so we load the HTML and now that we have that what we could do one of the first things we want to get is the product title so Let's look at the page. We go inspect. I want to see what the ID is. I haven't figured out how to do it for class, but the ID is IT TTL. So for most cases, this will be the IT, the ID of the product page. So what we can do now is we can say, oh, one second, what I have. That's the class, sorry. The item title is the name of the ID. So I was wrong. So here's what we're going to do, right? We're going to say um, title is equal to HTML DOM get element by ID. And what is the name of the ID? Let's check again. Item title. So we can copy that and paste it. I hesitate to be using this so much. Enough. Because I feel eBay might block me. I don't know if eBay blocks. Um, and then we can do title, text content, and this will just give us the the content of that. So let's just run this. I am only going to do this once. If it works, if it works, we can assume it always would work. So I don't want them blocking me and spawning the tutorial. All right. Um text content of non-object so what are we doing wrong I'm about to find out so uh, if you notice what we should have done was passing the HTML that we read from the URL so we didn't do that so we get an error so now we can run the test and we see we get Isu's laptop so if you go back here we see that that's that right so that's great. And again, this is the last time I'm gonna run it because we want it to actually work. So this is the basic principle of getting information using the OM document, right? So let's build our function. So our function is gonna be called get title, get product title. Function get product product title. We're going to pass in the object and we are going to say the title is equal to DOM get element by ID. Item title is the ID and we're going to return title text content. So that should give us the product title. Next thing we want is the 
cost. So we could look here. EE. Why is it saying EE? PRC ISOM. So for cost, I don't have that. But we could, um, all right, so let's check out cost, right? Um, this one has different courses, but that's fine. So we're going to create something for cost. So the function is going to be function get cost details. You're going to pass in the um, and uh, we're going to create our prices. So because prices vary, especially in Amazon, they vary and they were a lot of different prices. We created an array. We got as many as the formats of the prices as possible. And then we put them in the array. So that's what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna say price is equal to DOM get element by ID. So you can't see what I'm putting here. But I know this works in other scenarios, so I'm gonna add it here. V I'm something, so I'm just gonna add it there. And then I'm gonna do a check if 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 we get something from price and the property exists, which is prices. We pass in price as the object and text content. We want to make sure that it has text content. If that is true, then we're gonna add this information to the prices array. So we can see, we can give it a description. So you can see this is the general price. And then we're going to do a pair replace. I have to copy this and the, um, the actual pattern. And then we pass in the price and the text content. So I'm just going to explain that if it isn't straightforward. But let me copy over um, pair replace. Right, so I'll explain everything. So basically, get element by ID. I know that this is also have a course in it. I probably could look for another URL just to show you. Um, let's try a simple one. All of these showing very weird. No, no, no. Let's go back to main EB. One second. All right, so this is one of the IDs I'm accustomed to, right? So it's possible this was always here. I was looking in the right place. Anyway, so this is where I get the, the price from. Um, in this case, I don't think I can do that. Yeah, because I have a PRCI sum. All right, so we're going to add the two of them. So I already added one. Um, I call this general per replace removes all spaces. Mm. And just replaces spaces with no more space a small space that's what that's doing so if you know others so i just showed you one other one you can just copy and paste it and add it to an array so we say that this could also be one if it exists so we put this here and we say what kind of thing is this um, don't know. PRC stone. Well, this is fine. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Well, I maybe wasn't paying attention, but I'm gonna put it in anyway. So you have the two options. You have this one and this one. You see how it actually looks, right? In any case, return prices. So right now we can get the title and the prices and then we're just going to add one for description. With, with Amazon, I had a few for specs and everything, but I'm just going to do description here since we're using eBay. And this is where the main description is. This is an iframe and I didn't go into getting information from that. So let's do description. Um, so we can inspect this. I think all the content is it on it is within an ID called 
BES dev or VI tabs. Let's see. DES panel. We probably could take it from there. Or we could go lower. Lower. Right. So we're taking it from VI tab 0. Ah, yes. So that is the description. So function get description. It's called a product description. And we are just going to say DSC is equal to DRAM get element by ID and we copy that across so this is just going to pull everything and we are going to clear all these pieces and um, yeah all right so it's going to pull everything so we have to hit it up every place just like this one except we return in only what we get all right so we hit the type of replace we're gonna say DESC text content all right so that's us there so now we need to submit the form once we get the URL so let's do that so we're gonna name this let's give it a name of URL we could give it a placeholder enter your you your URL and autocomplete off we're just gonna make a habit of doing that for feature all right so now we need to capture it so I'm just confirming the name of it is pass link so let's create a header not a header but a if statement to capture what we are about to submit pass link right great and now what do we want we want the url so you know how to do that i set post uh what should be here url and this is now so you see if it's if it's not now we could proceed we want some global attributes do we do we do we yes so we want some global attributes we want the price to be global probably could set it as now no matter we want the product to be global this is actually the product title we want the product description to be global well as global as they can get yeah price product product description is that all let's check into functions product details description details or course details get product course I'm actually going to change this function to get product course just to format get product title get product course get product description all right so we change the name of the functions great so price product and product description so those are the main th three things we are going to get so once we have our url we know how we did it in tests we say file get contents that should give us the html we load up our dom object and we load it up with the html we pull from the URL and then we call our functions so price is actually going to be an array so we should call it prices and now we're going to go product is equal to get product title and we pass in HTML down and then the prices is you can get product course HTML dumb could probably do this in one function product description is because I get product HTML dumb right great so if that works we want to actually display what we get in another form so 
we want to differentiate between the two scenarios so we're gonna start off as saying uh, URL is not detected link is not submitted what's going on let me start off we don't have a product so product is no product is product is product active and we could say false so once we submit your URL product will become active all right and that takes us into the second section and this second section only happens if product is active so we can open and close and end those and if here and now we're gonna add input type text value is equals is gonna be product and the name is gonna be product yeah that's that's correct um the prices we're gonna come after oh we actually forgot to do images so let's test this out and then we go back to the images so the product is going to be prices so i'm going to skip that we want a text area for the product description we want to make it big how did we make it here we said columns 7 and 50 that should be fine so columns 7 Sorry, rows is seven, seven, columns is 50. So this should give us the, and if we need to add name, title, let's see, that's the title. And then we're gonna say description. It's just gonna be a text box, T-I-T-L-E great and what we need now we need the prices so we want the prices here we're gonna say for each prices as price and we're gonna have um we're gonna have a list of radio buttons we seem to end this and for each so we're gonna have a list of radio buttons type radio the name of this is going to be price the value is going to be price so that's pretty good we can see if you have any errors let's try it out and see what goes on click copy our link and submit it and as you can see we have the details we have a description we have no price in though this is what I was telling you the price in here is kind of screwed I have to find out exactly um, PRC I sum if I put that wrong cut up cost PRC I sum So I'm not too sure what's going on there. Everything else looks correct. PRC ISO. PRC ISO. And property exists. So we're just trying to do it on normal URL. Normal, I say, normal. So actually it's not my problem well it is my problem but I wasn't um I didn't put something in the input which I should have seen so we actually get in everything we need I just need to put a label on the radio button and in my functions I'm gonna I really don't know what this is in a I don't know what to call it PRC 
four four nine. Let's call it savings now. So you have general and then you have savings. All right. So if you were to run this again, I don't know what we'd get. Let's see. I really hope eBay. All right. So we want to break after each of these as well. So we want to be able to do that. Um. So general and e and um savings. So let's put a break. Anyway, we are almost there. Let's put some space in between these two. Um, maybe we could put back the URL. Should we? We won't put back the URL. Yes, we put back the URL. Check it all. Submit it again if you wanted to. So I went to search for it. So value. That means the URL needs to be global now. Which is fine. So you put Maggie URL, we also want to put a space in between these two. And let's let's um let's try it and see nice so we have a year we could always submit again we could see our savings ideally i want some space in between savings as well um i can't remember if this is how i had it but uh i, can't, I really can't remember so i'm gonna put price price in here and then we'll probably put a break there and see how that looks. So let's submit that again. That's a little better. So I'm gonna put one more above pricing. And that should actually give us what I want. I'm not gonna display it. Alright, so we're almost there. We just need to add the images and then we submit the button. Let's add a button here. This last submit. Is going to be called save to wish list. So that's great. Value submit or type type submit. All right, so let's work on the images. And for images, we're not going to do anything special. We're just going to look for the main ID, which is called. I already know what it is. I think. VI gallery. Let's double check for the images. A VI mean. Are you seeing that there? Let's search for it. VI mean I am Chi. So now all the images are show up. That's unfortunate. So what are we going to do? Let's check this one out. So we see we have some images here. This is the images we want. And that is usually here or up here or up here. Or no, no. We are looking for the images. So we're just looking to see where we could find the main div of images. This is it right here, VI main image FS. So this is what we're going to use to pull all our images. We're going to do just like prices, kind of, a bit, a little bit, just a little bit. Function get product images passing the DOM, the main DOM. And then we want our links. Well, what? Oh, sorry. Images. Great, 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 great. So that's our array of images. And we're going to say the images div. Ah, who knows what to call it? Get element by ID, right? And we're going to copy this across. Because we already knew what to look for. 
basically is the closest thing you can come, right? This ain't no perfect science. All right, so the links are equal to link div, images div. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say get elements by tag name. Tag name is like image and stuff like that. You can search for the um, documentation. Anyway, so this should give us all the links and the only thing we need to do now is for each loop that move. Uh, all right. <coughs> so now that we have that, I have some special logic here. I have so much. I was so happy about that Amazon thing. And now all we have is this. We have to settle. Settle. Stupid Amazon. I tried to work around it, but I did not succeed. And I did not attempt to waste the time to go any further. So, you win. You win. Yeah, you can use the links. The um, API. If you want. So that's what I want you to do. Alright, so link HF. So I'm gonna explain what I just did while I was complaining. Um so basically get elements, right? So again all the images here, we look through the images, we say we want the node value, and then we say That is wrong. That is absolutely wrong. Even I'm doing shit in this. Alright, so most likely this should work. So link get attribute source and this should give us the href link. And as long as it's not empty, we add it and then we return images. Alright, so we need a global div of what? Images. We're gonna do the same thing. Description H4 Product Images. What are we gonna use for this? We're gonna use a, a for each loop of images. And IMG. The type is going to be featured AIMG. The value is going to be IMG. And what is this going to be? This is going to be a link? No. Yes. No. It could be a link, but for now, we're just going to put an image instead. You can put a link over the image, so when the user clicks on it, they can see the image full screen. But why would you want to do that? Why? Alright, so what we want now is like a width, so we're going to put like 50px. So this is not going to look great. As far as scaling goes. It should work. So our images are showing nothing. You know why? It doesn't know it's, images doesn't always seem to work. It's not working at all here. Oh, we're not getting images. CD rabbit. Images equal to get product images. HTML down. Right, so let's see if that works now. Hey, hey, we are now in the game. All right, so we need to, as you can see in the bottom, so I'm going to add some major pattern. I'm going to add a div. And style it up in margin bottom as 20. And that's my horrible way of making sure you can see. He didn't seem to cut it. Put a hundred. 
hate having to do so many submits. I feel like anytime you're just gonna ban me. I don't feel safe anymore. Alright, so yeah, so we get there. Save to wish list. So once we choose our product image, um I really don't think I had links on mines. But I'm checking. I had links on mines, man. Alright, I'm gonna load up the links so once you can click on a product image to see it bigger. But after that we are finished. We don't have anything else to do. Um we're gonna create a database to save the information that we pull from EB. Not Amazon. Alright, so let's begin. We are adding stupid links. So one link, two link, three link, four. Um, should we have a href? And we just need to set the target to blank. Because why not, right? Uh, you need to see it big. So uh, I need to change the link because I really concerned about me. I don't want that to happen. Cause then I have to stop the stream. It's not a stream. It's just a recording. Anyway. So right. So now we can click on the product images. It would go to a new screen. And you see these tiny little images, which is pointless. But is what we have to work with. We'll work with that. So you also see general and savings. We have our title. We have our URL. And now we can do save to wish list. So in order to do that, we need a database. So let's load up our database. And then, well, let's create the function first. Because you know the drill. You know the drill already. What we're going to do is call something called save product function save product it's going to take in a title KITLE. it's going to take in a price it's going to take in details it's going to take in a featured image and it's going to take in a source which is the link and we need to get the connection that's that's it we need to do the database now um one second all right, so this is the SQL for our shopping list. I'm removing this on top. Create shopping list. ID, price, title, specs, details, featured source. So I'm actually going to create a new table. I usually don't do that, but we call it wish list. So we're going to name it wish, wish list. And we don't need specs because we don't have Amazon. Anyway, ID, price, title. Let's switch this for no particular reason. Details is text, which is fine. Price is 65, which might create some problems. For some reason, they have really long prices. I mean, you could add it. Well, no. All right, anyway. So, ID title, price, details, featured. Yeah, so we get to go there. So, we created wish list. It's empty. Let's now save to it so the SQL would be insert into wish list and we have some stuff here so the first thing is what title I think yeah title T-I-T-L-E then we have price then we have details Okay, my windows thing gone that's fantastic um price details details featured and source all right and then the values we passing in values values we're just passing in some placeholders. Two, three, four, five. 
right? And then we do our query, connection query, prepare, SQL. And then we actually execute the query and we pass in our input parameters. So title, price, details, fee tier, which is the image source, which is the link. And then we return for no particular ID, the last inserted ID. We don't actually need this, but it might be back best practice. <sighs> it also might not be best practice. Great. So we are almost home. What we're gonna do now is make sure we can save it. And the button that we're gonna do is name of this is save to list. That's great. And we're gonna get everything. Save to list. Everything we go we need to save, we're gonna get it. So if it's URL we need to get, we get in it again. We don't wanna have to think about it. If it's not here, we're not saving. So we ain't worried about what we have above. So up there, the next thing we have is product. So we have product as product. Nah, whatever. So the next thing is product, which is actually the title. You probably can name it title. Why aren't we doing that? Product title. Well, we just leave it with product. What's the next thing? So after product, we have our price. So great. That's just one price, singular. We only save in one, even though we have many. Price. Question it. No, 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 that shouldn't happen. Uh, the next thing we have is product description, which what we call in that details. So we give this a name of details. That's great. That's great. So we capture in details. This is the most boring part of coding. This is where frameworks can come in handy. This is all automated. Well, most frameworks, I guess. So you don't have to do this over and over and over, name featured image and over again and over again. We call it FI or FI or FI or FIG or IMG. Featured image, because this is just time consuming. What is my favorite framework? That's a good question. I am biased. All right, so featured. F I think that's it. It's five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we are complete. So once we have everything, and we only doing it if we have everything. Product. So we're gonna check for this. A very lazy function fashion product. If we have product and we have price and we have details and we have the featured image, then we can save product and we save in product as product is the title and then the price is the price and then what's details I guess and featured images F I and G the sources URL. So actually when you return right uh, I don't think it well. You could do it a different way, but you could say if ID, so ID confirms. If you get ID, you know it was returned. Otherwise, if it's null or something, something went wrong. All right, um, that's it for us. We are going to test to see if we can save it. And if we can save it, we check it in the database. And after we check it in the database, we just need to display it. So let's enter our URL. We pull up our information, we choose this, we move this, it keeps telling me details about 
and then we just save it if you get any errors well errors happen that's life and it seems we do have errors so life is happening let's it into wish list title price details featured source so you confirm that we have everything we do the con prepare con last and say thank thee can you see what's wrong one two three four five find it without me and put it in the comments um product price details featured image url so so far what i can tell is i probably didn't give one of these things a name but that is also not the case featured in img so if you can't find it well there we go so there's a stupid spell in our uh, it is for me it's one of the dumbest arrows you could think of all right so let's do this again all right save it save to wish list let's check our database hey hello so we are in the game here so let's actually now we're gonna call something called get product or get products i guess and we're gonna display all of our products that we have saved and because i don't want to be here forever we're gonna copy the cross you know the drill yes you do yes you do all right so get our products right get connection we just need to change this to wish list wish this all right so now we can get all our results this is fantastic you know how to do it don't pretend like you don't all right all right product uh, wish my wish list so this is the most important part the first thing we need to do is add styling and we are going to make it so fancy we are going to make it so fancy you won't believe how fancy we're going to make it and for each it's gonna be out of this world how fancy you're gonna make this thing you don't believe how good it looks are we missing one thing you can do it 4px that's a big change all right so that's our product um shopping list um so before we had our e3 element as the title i think it's name title no no nice doesn't that look good look at this fancy border can anybody do a border as fancy as that <laughs> anyway um I'm gonna create a page break. I'm gonna add a paragraph here. I'm gonna put the details inside here. Nice. Reload the page. So an error like this means I did real strippiness or like I forget a sorry semicolon or something now or something like this. Something wrong with the syntax of the structure what I did anyway so product description what comes next we are image do you want an image we we'll put an image here same width 50px um yeah We call it featured or source. Featured. 
Yeah, we call it feature. Let's reload the page. Nice, 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 nice. Um, so we want the cost of it, and we want the cost of it below this. So I'm gonna put it inside here. I'm gonna call this price. And maybe give it a page break. And some fancy styling. Some fancy styling. We'll put in some fancy styling. It's gonna be so lit. <laughs> um, great. So that's that's our cost. Um, that's our pricing. It's extremely fancy, as you can see. Right. Um, and the next thing we need is we want it to be able to go to the link. So. Uh, let's put that. Let's put that after this now. So I'm gonna say go to um, eBay. Sad face. Sorry, because you know I try to be better, but Amazon was better than me. All right, so. This is sauce. Sauce seems like it should be a reserve word in my SQL. I didn't give any complaints. <laughs> I'm sure EV is just as fine. I am being ridiculous. Um great. So yeah. So we are halfway there. I think we are displaying all the information. We have the price, we have the details, we have our featured image, and we have our source. So, the only other th thing we need to do is create, we'll put a link here and we'll say send via email or share. Share via email. So, let's do that now. So, this is going to take us to the next step where we actually create an email. Share in there. Great. So let's add another link. Pink. Why? Why would you do such a thing? And this means they block me. <laughs> All right. I'm just getting excited. I'm not blocked. I'm just error prone. Error prone is the problem here. So we need to do F for all of these. Right, which is actually pretty good because here's what if I'm, I'm not going to use this because there are a lot of scenarios and you, you can't in good faith prep for all of them. So, in, in theory, if if we can't find an image, we should add a. No, I'll do that. But you can't prep for all these scenarios. So, here's what we're going to do. Because I don't have time to prep for all of them. If right, so we're gonna put a page. Yeah, we're gonna do the same thing for um uh we're gonna do the same thing for price. So if we don't find what we're looking for, we manually put it. And in truth, this should be for all because that way it can work even if it doesn't work so this is um great so let's test this out so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna use our pink link so in this case now I'm I should make it better but I just need to get the link for this so if I could copy copy image address and save it, and this should do image address. Save. And this should give us the same results, right? Yeah, so we have our thing there. And we can click go to. We can make it a little better. So we could say 
add your image and maybe we give it a placeholder maybe we don't that's fine so we actually should do the same thing for prices but now you know what to do you could do it in amazon it was an issue but here you should be fine all right so moving ahead moving ahead what comes next is we are going to send something via email so we're going to create So we're going to create something called email preview. So email preview is just what it sounds like. Basically, we're going to preview the email before we actually send it. So the user could see what they will be sending. So the email template I'm particularly fond of is this. And as you can see, you can go here to get it. And you can check it out on GitHub. So this is what we're going to use to build our email template. I'll put a link in the YouTube video. Alright, so I am literally just gonna copy that across. So email preview. I'm just gonna copy the HTML because most of it is just plain old HTML. So email preview. I'm gonna create a file called email template so this is actually going to hold the template so you, you don't need to worry much about what's going on here this is basically um this is basically this but the html version to it so if you look here you can see this is it so we copy some of this remove some that didn't make sense and yeah that's basically it so this is the email template that we're going to be using and the only thing is we have a personal message so we pass in a personal message and we expect in product title product featured which is the image a source image and then we have go view on amazon i need to stop doing that anyway source and then we have the price here it's not really expensive and you put the product price so this is the template and now we're going to work on the preview so let's first include our functions and we want to get the id so the email preview is based on the shopping the, the wish list right so what we actually be passing in is an ID to the wish list. So we're going to do that. We need to create a function called get product. So let's. Is it that I'm being lazy? But I, I know you know how to do this already. I don't have to go through with this over and over. So get product, right? We just copy it and paste it. I'm going to explain it. Get product. You pass in the ID. You do your connection. You do your prepare. This is wrong. Change it to wish list. You get your ID. You fetch. If we have results, we only want the first results. In truth, we should put a limit here, I guess. I don't know if it makes a difference. I feel better doing that. Get product. So we get in one product. Great. Great. So in our email preview, we can now get product, product is equal to get product. Pass in the ID, we ideally should do if ID exists. And we're gonna set the personal message to nothing. But we could change this. Then we're going to include the email template. All right, so let's see how that looks now. Da, 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 da. As you can see, it looks fantastic. Except it's not showing anything. I actually don't know why that's happening. So it's not working because I don't think about what I'm doing before I do it. I didn't mean that. All right, so and ID, right, equal to one. 
there we go so we have some things that shouldn't be here I don't know why that is there but for the most part it works fine maybe we could look into that I've seen table border I'm not sure why this is showing pretty sure it shouldn't be showing yeah there we go it disappears all right so this is it and um, the pink laptop or whatever right so only if we get any correct product 29 yeah, yeah so we are good to go and that we have right there so we're gonna pass that link kind of so first fill no because so this 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 um this is gonna show as a template so I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do so share right share wish list we're gonna create a file called share wish list wish this PHP file share we're gonna include the functions so the preview is fine the template is fine you know why we use the template use the template in the preview the previous fan, but now we want actually want to share it. So we include this. We want a template, so we copy that across. We close this. Uh, share is gonna have the same thing as email preview. Yeah, that's correct. Except it's gonna be a bit different. It is going to be a bit different. Great. So, we're going to put share your wish list. And we're going to add a form here. Because we're actually going to send an email, right? We have, let's see, we have 50 more minutes to go. To try to do this as quickly as possible. So, we're going to do a form. I want to copy it across, or we'll go through it one by one by one by one. I might learn something. Alright, auto complete off. That's my new habit. Um, subject input type auto, uh, text name subject. Should we be here a while or Personal message input type text name personal personal to complete off. Alright, and this is the awesome part. So because we want to see what we're gonna send, we're gonna add an iframe. That's right folks, we're going to add an iframe and that iframe is going to show us the email preview. Of course we have to pass in the ID that we got from the product which we call you, well we could just use ID. So I actually don't need to get the whole product. Why do I have it then? Why? So we learned something. We made some unnecessary send message and the type of this is submit name is send message all right so in wish list below here we're gonna say share php we're gonna send the id passing i'm not passing but you know get it great no so let's um let's see how it looks. Looks horrible. First we're gonna make this into black so it goes to a new page and then we need to add some space in between everybody and then we have the iframe. So that should help. That helps, but so let's reload the page. No. This page is reloading. There we go. Now we reload the page. It loads in a new page. We have sent to message subject personal. We need one more for the bottom. 
another page break we also didn't have our heading for this we're gonna put share your wish list via email so that's great you can reload the page and see the changes um you also need panel at the bottom so that you can see the rest of the form this time I am just going to put pattern pattern button 50 I wonder if, which one is better I should know right turns out I do not do you see my style or am I supposed to know this all right so sorry maybe it did work and i didn't just scroll down all right so now we need to add send to subject personal message we already have values for those so what we're going to do now is enter the matrix welcome to the world of php mailer php mailer a fully featured email creation or transfer class for php probably Ego, the world's most popular code for sending email for PHP. Great, so this is what we're going to use. I already have the files, I'm just going to copy them in. So we need three files one is called SMTP, we paste, paste doesn't seem to be working. We wait on that. The other one is called PHP Mailer, copy paste that doesn't seem to be working either all right so i'm just going to copy them across and show you them after so php mailer smtp and exception so we have those files and that's all we need we have our share and we have our um, send message so do you know what we're going to do next you know what we're going to do next have to capture the form submission right and we need to get yeah I'm not yeah so right copy and paste is the name of the game currently email subject personal email subject personal so you know the drill so we're saying if email and subject we could go ahead all right, so at the top, when we include this, we need to include everything else we need. So I think this is the order they set to include them in. PHP mailer, include SMTP. All right, so the rest is what I copied and paste as well. There's one special part, but let's copy and paste the, the mailing part. So we'll try catch. These credentials are going to change by the time you see them. So I won't get too ahead of myself. All right, so message. Which one is the message? I have a message here. Where am I getting that from? Trying to figure it out. Can't figure it out. Okay, great. So, what we did, right? This is how you set up our. Um, these are not really emails, so forth, so forth, so forth. And these will change. We use a mail trap, right? Great, 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 great. So, the last thing we need to do is we need to get this template. So, remember, we're showing stuff like this now we need to get all of this and what we're going to do to get that is something called ob start and ob clean all right so i'm going to type it out so we say product is equal to get product so why are we doing this because we need we need the product we should have it on top so we might actually be calling it twice so we might not need to do it we can actually do like if it exists if it doesn't exist 
if product doesn't exist, we can load it up. Alright, so now our vote is from using it, but it should already existed. Alright, and we're gonna do OB start. Now, I could Google this to be more sure about it. But for, from my understanding, it captures whatever is going on in email template. And then you could use OB clean to get whatever it captured. Right? So this is what we're doing here. This is what those render render functions. If you ever use frameworks, this is what your render functions tend to play with. Anyway, so we start the capturing and we get all the things we captured. We include email template. It should would have access to product. And so we just pass in the message here. Um, and that should be it for us. That should be it for us. So let's see if we can get it to send. And if we can get it to send, we can call this complete send to a do yeah add at gmail.com that's good this is a message no personal message right, so we're just going to see if this works and uh, php mail are not found that's that's really unfortunate why hasn't it not been found let me include it here why do you think this has happened um so i should be ashamed to say this but maybe that's the problem I, I don't actually know so we need to use it because it has a, like a class in it when when it, when it's created it's um stuff it has a class in it namespace is the correct term and once it's using namespace you have to define a namespace in our access page pigmailer so let's check for it congratulations you have successfully sent this you could also view it on eb with a smiley face because i need to stop it works perfectly perfectly all right so the last thing we need to do is understand why the subject did not send oh i think i had this like i wasn't sending the subject all the time that's that's unfortunate so let's let's look for something else that's cool like another laptop that's so cool we're gonna add this to our shuttle list and we're gonna take the expensive option and we say save to wish list all right we're gonna share it via email we're gonna send it to santa again not pull i think that's the correct email address um uh, you have to put plus good otherwise you won't receive it uh, from wf tutorials for our agent thanks in advance advance right so let's send out our message and see if he would receive it <sighs> look at that he sees it and he says let's see what to get right great of course it's not really expensive right so he has to handle the scene okay so that's it for us thanks for watching you have spent one hour and 14 minutes of your life that you will now never get back but it's been fun um yeah uh i'm out